Hello, everyone. This is Philly Mac, and welcome to Flame Wars for Twitter. It's our first Flame Wars client. We're so excited. It's for the social media network Twitter. We're so excited about that. And this is Flame Wars. So, what's Flame Wars? It is an old fashioned Yo Mama smack talk and throwdown done on social networks. It's someplace where you can come out, you can get into a Flame War with someone, but here's the cool part it's with your Twitter buds, and you can vote. And other people can vote on your flames. So you may think you're really hot stuff, but it's really the rest of the network that gets to decide because everybody on the network can vote on whether or not they think your flame is pretty hot. And there's all kinds of cool stuff coming that I'm dying to tell you about, but I'm not going to because this is Rev 1 and it's coming. I got to show you Rev 1 first. So click on this hot little icon right here. I love this icon, by the way. It's from Venti Pixel. We love doing stuff like this. All right, so the magic is it works with Twitter. So you put in your Twitter username. That's one. Now, through the magic of video, you will not see me enter my password. Once your password is in, you type, you tap done rather, and tap login. And you're logged into Twitter, all safe and secure. This is all done through secure certificate and passing to Twitter uh, with the standard author authorization. So it's, it's going to work. It's going to work for a while. And then as I depreciate this, we'll switch over to OAuth too. It's a little bit different, different thing, but this is nice and safe and secure. So here we have this stuff. La, da, da. This is, it's a mini Twitter client. That's what you can see right here. So you can see all of the people that have recently flamed you or have just uh, actually re recently sent you a tweet of any kind. And you can also see your mentions right here as well. So you can take a look at your mentions. And hey, look, this flame right here is blue instead of yellow. And you can see there are a couple of them that are blue instead of yellow. What's the difference? Well, a blue flame means that this was a flame. And you can see right here, there's a pound flame wars hashtag that we automatically put into a tweet when you want to flame someone. And if there's no flame wars hashtag, it just shows up and it's a yellow flame. It means that this is just something that somebody said. If you want to flame them, you can. And you can do that to anyone that's any one of your Twitter buddies. So how do you do it? It's really simple. So let's say we see this. We click on flame. You go into this screen, which is where you actually type in your flame. You can go back. Let me just demonstrate that. Ooh, wow, really cool. It goes back to your standard uh, flames here. Um, and then you can click on whatever. Notice there are two options here, flame and tweet. Flame sends a flame. It gives it the pound flame wars hashtag. So that way the system knows that it's your flame wars, that you actually sent this. It's meant to be a flame. It gets put on the server. People get to vote on it. If you just do tweet, it doesn't. It just does a pound FWT hashtag to let us know that Flame War is being used as a client, so I can track that too. So anyway, I want this to be a flame. I want to flame this Philly Mac guy. I'm gonna say, "Yo, your mama eats kitty litter." I think that's how you spell litter, right? So when you're done with that, you actually just tap done, and then you're ready to flame. You tap flame, does its little magic, and voila, poof. You're back into Twitter. It actually shows you your tweet right there. It actually shows you the little Flame Wars hashtag. So now Philly Mac has gotten this flame sent to him. So, but that's not all that we're doing. We are actually doing a bunch of stuff because it's not just about being on Twitter. You could do that anywhere. We go to war, baby. We gotta go to the war room. So what happens in the war room is we retrieve all the data from the servers, from the Flame Wars servers. And we show them all up here so that you can vote vote on them. So you can actually see uh, we've got some some uh, default pictures in here. Don't worry, that they're uh, all pictures will be working completely, I'm sure. So this is a nice scrolling client, and you can see the the tweets, the flames that people have done, and you can decide whether or not you like them. And if you like them, or you don't like them, actually, you can go in and vote on them. One means it's really weak sauce. If you, people get a lot of ones. The flame gets really badly rated. It's never going to make the top 20. You're never going to be hero. You're never going to get, you know, like you're not going to accumulate enough cred to move up levels and stuff like that. If you rate it five, that means, wow, I think this flame is hot. Sorry, I couldn't resist it. When you're done, you click on submit, and now you can see its rating is five. It's had one vote. It tells you who the person was that sent it and who it was being sent to. So Mentipixel sent this to Philly Mac. You can also check the top 20 flames, and this shows the top 20 historic flames. So how, uh, of all the flames that have ever been flamed, the ones that are top rated will show up here. 
as well. But that's not all. We've also got one more tab, and it's the armory. This is where you get to track what level you are. So you've got a whole bunch of badges that start with Bic Later. We're all Bic Laters to start. Listen, you're not packing a lot of heat yet, but as you get more accumulated cred, you move up in here. And then you've also got weapons. Now this is a little bit of preview. Shields and bombs are coming in a, in a, in a version to be coming very soon that I'm very excited about. But for now, you can also track Woofy. Now why is Woofy important? Woofy's important because once these start being used, if someone bombs you, it's going to deplete your Woofy. So think down and out in the Magic Kingdom because it's the same idea. If someone on a social network doesn't give you a lot of props, your Woofy goes down. If someone does, your Woofy goes up. So the more good votes you get, the more Woofy you get, the more you can sustain bombs and shields. And this is a blast as we get into further versions of gameplay. And then there's help. If there were any help for this, there isn't because there's not that much to the client. I'm putting it in, though, so that, that way things get more complex. You can check it if you want to and check what things mean. So that's the whole thing. It's Flame Wars for Twitter, a mini Twitter client in itself. So you can just send a, a response back to someone, say, if I want to send something to Motown Mutt. I can. And I can click Done and Flame. And this goes out, and once again, it does the exact same thing as it does when you flame it. I know this is compelling radio, isn't it? Oh, I guess I got the old version out. So anyway, it actually included the link here. Uh, but that's it. That's our Flame Wars for, for Twitter client. It, the thing is, it's the game. It's you that makes it. So if you get this and you get other people on their iPhones and they start to play it and they start using this all the time, it's going to get hotter and hotter and hotter. People get to see exactly what you're doing and it's going to be a blast to play. I'm looking forward to playing it with all of you. I'm ready for it. So if you're ready for this, if you're ready for the first, the only social media network smackdown game, you're ready for Flame Wars, then bring it, baby. I'll see you around. I'm Philly Mac. Peace out.